Hi there, this is Robin Norgren and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You've joined me in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. And this segment features Rabia, who is of the Sufi tradition. So I will offer you four of her poems, but if you'd like to go back and listen to more of her poetry, just go back into the show notes and you will find three other segments of her poetry. All right, for right now, enjoy. First poem is called, Could You Wait Till Four? My understanding used to be like a stream that easily described all along the bank as its can moved throughout the world. When I entered God, my vision became like his. It flooded out over existence, and I knew no limits. The future I saw now, or that I can see now, with much certainty is the past. Let me say that again. The future I can now see with as much certainty as the past. If I stretched my arm its full length, I could caress any creature in this universe. And Rabia does not exaggerate. Thus, going to bed one night, I knew a thief would be breaking in at 3 a.m. So I wrote a note and put it on my door that said, could you wait till four? For the passion in prayers usually starts to wane by then. Can you imagine coming on that note? The next poem is called, A Lover Who Wants His Lovers Near. He is sweet that way, trying to coax the world to dance. Look how the wind holds the trees in its hands, helping them to sway. Look how the sky takes the fields and the oceans and our bodies into its arms and moves all beings toward his lips. God must be hungry for us. Why is he also, why is he not also a lover who wants his lovers near? Let me say that again. God must get hungry for us. Why is he not also a lover who wants his lovers near? Beauty is my teacher, helping me to know he cares for me. Troublemakers. Since no one really knows anything about God, those who think they do are just troublemakers. Don't you love that? From one fellow troublemaker to another. Such a fun way to think of ourselves, right? This last poem by Robia is called This Choir. So amazing, this choir of socks, shoes, shirt, skirt, undergarments, earth, sky, suns, and moons. No wonder I, too, now sing all day. Something about finally finding the beauty in the ordinary, right? And to imagine that our laundry is compared to the earth and the sky and the suns and the moons. Just a beautiful thought. Just take throughout the day. Our next segment will will uh, focus on poems from St. Francis of Assisi, which is one of my favorite saints. So I'm looking forward to sharing some of his poetry with you. Again, the name of the book is called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. And I hope that you have enjoyed getting to um, be introduced to some a new poet or uh, maybe uh, someone you might be familiar with and just being able to listen along and allow the words to just... Um, reach deep inside you and and grant you the the peace and the joy that you need for for your day thanks so much for stopping by make sure to subscribe so you don't miss um the two to three podcasts uh that are that are sent out each week